can I turn to the um, terrible story that we're in the, still, still seeing the, the, uh, the aftermath of, which was the uh, sentencing of a Marine to life imprisonment for the murder of a Taliban prisoner. And we've had very different reactions. Uh, Julian Thompson has called for clemency. A lot of newspapers call for clemency. He says very special circumstances. He's just seen the body parts of his comrades being used as trophies. It was a very, very difficult situation. Um, Facebook, there's a huge campaign on Facebook asking him for him to be released. On the other hand, we've seen uh, one of your predecessors, Lord Guthrie, saying, no, no, murder is murder. He must serve life. Which side do you come down on? Um, well, my position on this is that no service man or woman of the British Armed Forces is above the law. They're not above the law, the law of the country, international law, or the law of armed conflict. This was a heinous crime. Judicial process has found this individual guilty. And it would be quite wrong for the armed forces to adopt some special pleading, some sort of exemption. We do expect immaculate standards of our people. We do train and, them I mean, to as do I've right said, things. He'd, he'd just seen the body parts of comrades being used as trophies. This is not like something happening on the streets of London or Birmingham. No, and I accept that. But if we try to put ourselves beyond the law or expect special provision from the law, then we start to erode the position where we have a moral ascendancy over those that are our enemies, and that is the wrong thing to do. Um, there is a due process that will lead to a sentencing. Now, it's for that process to determine whether or not any form of clemency should be shown in the sentencing. And whereas I fully understand the views uh, of the likes of Julian Thompson, they're not, they're, they're, those are personal views. They're not the views, as it were, expressed from a position of current authority within the services, where we would not want our position in these respects to be eroded. So you're not ruling out personally the idea of clemency by ju judicial process in, in the proper process? No. Uh, what I'm saying is that those who are in authority over the armed forces you can't should, not, for it. should not request any form of leniency. In fact, I think it's dangerous to do so. We should be immaculate in these respects. Murder is murder. This is a heinous crime. Thankfully, it is an exceptional act in terms of the broad conduct of armed forces.